Uh, we've been running our muck and slurry event uh, down in the borders today, uh, looking at uh, improving the application of uh, slurry uh, and muck uh, on, on the farm. Um, uh, if the farmer can get more use of his nutrients to the growing crop, uh, that's a benefit to him. And if we take greater care about our, our targeted application of the crop, then that's good for the environment. Um, so uh, at today's event, we've uh, a contractor provided this uh, trailing shoe machine, um, and I have uh, the operator, uh, Kenny, uh, um, uh, to talk us through a few of the features. Kenny, could you just want to just describe uh, how, how, this, how the trailing shoe operates and the various stages before it actually gets down onto the ground? Well, the slurry goes in the back here and it comes up through and into your macerator where it's evenly dis distributed through the nozzles so you get an even flow across the field. And it's all regulated by the flow meter here and it's, you can see how many cubic metres you are putting onto the acre. So, so the macerator is actually cutting up and, and, and regulating the, the, the slurry that's yep. going through there. Yep, and it's it, any wee bits of fibre and what's in the slurry, it chops up. It's a set of blades that go round in the inside as well, spins, and it forces the slurry down the nozzles as it goes round. Okay, so, so what we're, we're, we're able to do with the trailing shoe is, is we're going to put the slurry right down into the, the uh, plant zone, um, and uh, the, the nutrients are going to be effectively placed uh, uh, in, in, into the root zone of, of, the, of the plant. So our, our application is, uh, is, is far more precise uh, uh, compared to a conventional slurry tanker that's maybe just uh, 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 spreading um, uh, over a, a bit of a, a variable width. Um, you've also got a bit of GPS on, on, on the tractor. Ah, uh, yep, yep. So, so that you're able to keep to, to the width yep, of your machine. Yeah, keep the full width and see exactly where you've put the slurry on so you can if there's an area what hasn't to be touched you can see where you've not to put the slurry on if there's a bit of ground needs more slurry on you can put a bit more on so it's all evenly controlled and i see you've also got nice wide tires yep uh, just to try and reduce that the ground uh, compaction ground compaction yep it's the footprint that just floats across the wet ground and makes a no mess at all really it's helps with everything okay thanks kerry We've been running a muck and slurry event in the Scottish Borders today at Corsby Farm, uh, looking at uh, the application uh, of, of, of slurries uh, and, and farmyard manures. Um, muck spreaders have, have come on a bit uh, in, the, in the last few years, and so we've been uh, featuring uh, this, this equipment uh, at today's event. Uh, R Richard Murray from uh, uh, Redden Farm has, has uh, kindly uh, brought this muck spreader in today. Uh, Richard, if I could just maybe get you to talk us through a couple of the, the key points here. Um, we, we've, I can see we've got a, a, the moving floor there, bringing the material back, but just uh, describe yeah. the, the flow um, uh, of the muck through the machine. Basically, yeah, the main difference is, as you say, from a sort of standard muck spreader is that we've got the, the moving floor brings the muck to these two rotors here, which run horizontally. Uh, they work with this canopy obviously down in working position, chopping the material up, which then drops it down on these large diameter discs, which then do the, the spreading and the distribution over a, a wider distance. Uh, again, these rotors chop the muck a lot more finely, so it's actually readily available quicker to the, the crop itself. Um, this spread itself is equipped with a wear, and um, so you're constantly getting a live, a live weight, so you know exactly what is coming out the spreader at any, any point. So, so what sort of width can you can you you throw uh, with this? Uh, say, say with um, uh, perhaps hen pen or, or farmyard uh, manure. What, what sort of width can you? We're working on a 24 meter tramline system, so um, you know, getting a good good covering over the 24, but also farther, so we're getting a, a double overlap system on a sort of almost a 40 meet, 8 meter spread, but a 20 more working a 24 meter tramline. So we can actually take this machine into a standing crop, drive up the tram lines, 24 metre system tram line, uh, and spread on a standing crop in the spring. So the nutrients are, are, are then going on to a, a standing crop. And if you're applying the nutrients in the spring, uh, there's, uh, you're going to get more of the nutrients are going to be taken up by, by the plant, uh, but also there's going to be less risk 
uh, of leaching uh, into the environment. This is uh, the bout deflector. We use this on head, uh, headlands and also if we're near water courses, etc. Because of the widespread pattern, we need to use this to stop any muck going you know, farther than should be, whether it be field boundaries, uh, hedges, etc. Yeah. So that's what this is to use for. I, I can see there's a, there's a slurry door here uh, that, that, that you lift. Um, wh when, do, when are you using the slurry door? The slurry door is used in a couple of ways. Again, obviously, it's always shut when loading, keep the material in the box, and it's also used as a way of uh, rate control. You know, obviously, different heights, meaning different volumes of material coming. So that's the, the main uses of the slurry door. And I see the, the tractor is all set up with GPS. Yeah, we've got full uh, GPS auto steer system on the tractor, meaning we can work to exact you know, 24 meter tramline settings and field conditions, also mapping exactly where we've been. And the spreader itself has also got a GPS system, allowing us to map exactly where we are spreading and what rate we're spreading and the average rate and totals on each field. Low ground pressure tires? Yeah, again, very important. Um, spreading the weight over a wider footprint, uh, both on the spreader and the tractor. Okay, Richard, thank you very much.